Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we were doing a tutorial on this makeup look. I intentionally was going to be doing an entirely different video today on like how long it really takes me to get ready. But as soon as I got in my Morphe palettes, this is the 350 and then the 350S. I was like, I have to do a tutorial on this. So that's what I'm doing today. Yeah, I intentionally had this video start out and it was going to be a cut crease. So that's why in the video I keep talking about like, oh, we're gonna do this for your cut crease and like this, 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 whatever. Halfway like through the eye makeup, I was like, you know what? Like this would look way more bomb, not as a cut crease. So it's not a cut crease. I think it's like super cute. It's like peach Bellini type of vibes, like summertime. I guess I'm really just like ready for the summer. That's pretty much what my makeup has been telling me lately that I'm just over this and I want summertime. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I'm uploading a ton of content and you guys definitely don't want to miss out. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all I had to say. So let's get on to the tutorial. For my primer today, I'm going to use this new product from First Day Beauty. They're venturing into the cosmetic world. I love it. It's a great step. This is their Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I also put on a little bit of the Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer. That's like my ride or die moisturizer for my makeup. I'm just obsessed with how it looks. It is so important to prep your skin for your makeup because it makes your makeup go on way better. It makes it stay on longer and it just makes it feel better. If you've ever gotten your makeup done, you would know that the first thing makeup artists do is moisturize and prime the skin. And like, if you ever get your makeup done, you know that your skin just feels so good when they do that. So make sure that you guys take the time to do it at home because it really does make a difference. So I don't think I ever used this in a video. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't think I have. It's the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. It's like super warm toned, so that's why I haven't used it. And also I think it's like so thick on me. I think my problem is I've always put too much of this foundation on. Oh wait, I have to put my blinds down. That probably just made the lighting a little bit more even. I'm gonna bring it all the way down. Get a little on your choker. That's fine. Who cares? See, it just, it's just like such a warm toned foundation. It The coverage is really, really pretty. I just definitely need to get a different shade of it. So I'm gonna go in with a concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Light Medium. And this is super yellow toned and not warm so hopefully this will kind of cool my skin off a little bit and i'm just gonna blend this in with my beauty blender this concealer looks like water water yeah water i mean it looks really like thin i don't know about the coverage but it's really good to me i'm gonna go in and bake where i put my concealer this is the rcma no color powder and i just bake under my eyes And then I'm just gonna go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte. And I'm gonna take this Sigma F35. I'm just gonna go on my smile lines. Anywhere else that that bake is not. Now I go back in with that Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. And I'm just gonna kind of wipe and pat in my bake. Okay, let's dip in to the fun palette. All right, so the first brush that I'm gonna take is a MAC 224. Okay, so I think I'm first gonna take this shade right here. It looks like a camel brown. And with this, since we're doing kind of like a cut crease, you wanna keep this on the upper part of your lid. It's okay if you get it on your lid. Sorry, you wanna keep this on the upper part of your crease. It's okay if you get it on your lid because we're gonna go back in and clean it up, but it's just easier if you like don't, you know what I mean? Okay, then to make this a little more peachy, I'm gonna go in with this shade. Oh God, where is it? This one right here. And I'm just going right back over that color that we initially put on just to deepen it and give it a little tone. I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna throw this on the outer corner. So 
So I'm just gonna go back in with the Born This Way concealer. And you're just gonna start by defining your crease. And then before this has any opportunity to move, I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is a translucent powder that we used. And I'm setting it with this instead of like a white eyeshadow or something because it just makes it easier for the color I'm gonna put down to blend. You know, if I were to put a white down, then it's like an eyeshadow on top of a shadow and it can get kind of competitive. And sometimes the shadows don't work well together. So you can see that we have this nice cut crease right here that transitions into this. For my lid color, I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm also going to wet that. Blend the two. I'm just gonna go back in with like that reminds me of like a peach bellini type of thing, type of look, type of color. I'm just gonna pat that where the two meet just to blend them. I don't really want to add a darker color there. I just want to keep that to the same two colors on the lid. I guess this turned like less cut crease. I think we're gonna go no cut crease. I think that'll look better. <laughs> See, that happens. That's like what happens when you just do your tutorials on the fly. You just kind of come up with things as you go and see what you like, see what you don't like. And it's fine. No, originally I was going to do like light colors and have this be like wearable and stuff. But I mean, look what it's turning into. It's just like a unicorn right now. It's really great. I really am enjoying this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this one with this one. And I'm just placing that right here. Now I'm going to dip in to the 35S. I'm going to take this shade right here and mix it with this shade. And this is going right on my inner corner. I always keep my inner corner light, like no matter how dark and dramatic my eye looks get, my inner corner just always stays light. And then for right underneath my brow, I'm gonna take the same two colors and put that right underneath my brow. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the 35-0. Sorry, I know I'm being so extra using both palettes. I just wanna like use them, you know what I mean? I'm gonna take like the lighter shade that we put in our outer corner, this one, and buff that along my outer corner. And let's buff it along the whole thing. Why not? Why not? To keep the whole kind of like peach thing going, I'm gonna mix this with this on this brush. I don't know what it is. I think it's a crown, bu crown brush. I really don't know. I'm just gonna buff, buff, buff along that shadow that we just put down. For liner, I'm gonna put down this by ColourPop. It's their cream gel liner in the shade Puppy. Okay, I'm just gonna do some winged liner. I think this, like, even though winged liner is so dramatic, for me, it'll make it more wearable and like tone it down. Is that weird? Okay, I'm gonna do mascara and lashes and then I will be right back. The lashes that I'm using are Ardell Demi's 120s. I'm switching something up. I saw this in a YouTube video. Who's shocked? So I'm just using a darker foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Foundation. 
I guess, powder foundation. This is in the shade 173. It's also like super warm toned, if you guys can tell. So this might look really bad, but I'm just gonna put this where I would naturally bronze my face. And using a powder foundation is going to keep your skin looking really flawless, but it's also just gonna darken me up a little bit. This is with a Real Techniques blush brush. This is like my favorite powder brush to use when I do stuff like this. And when I'm like using legit bronzer, this is my fave, 135 by MAC. All right, I think that worked, but like it's just not enough color as I want. It definitely gave me dimension to my face which is always nice. But now I'm gonna take the Kevin Kwan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. I'm just gonna buff this in and find my features. For blush today, I originally picked out like this peach color and I think it still works. This is Papa Don't Peach. Such a cute name by Too Faced. that blush brush go anywhere because we're gonna go in and highlight. I'm gonna use the 35 OS and I'm just gonna mix these three. <laughs> Let's see what color I get. Oh and this brush is the Anastasia number A23. Okay lips this would just be too boring. I think I should really do like a deep berry, like a plum almost. So yeah, Court K is like, yeah, that is gonna look so nice. That's pretty much the exact color that I'm thinking, but I can't decide on the liner. They're just so different. So that's Night Moth and that's Court K. This one's like a lighter berry and this one's like deeper. So I think the darker would look really nice to like line my lips, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, Cord K like is kind of really streaky, so let's hope it looks good. all enjoyed this if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys want to see I always read them I always take them into account and I normally try my absolute hardest to please everyone's requests so I pretty much always get around to it at some time or another but I do listen to all your comments and I do read them all so be sure to leave a comment and say hey and I'll probably reply so yeah thanks so much for watching and um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye